Given uh, that many developing countries don't have a strong culture of technology and aren't used to having a technological solutions to some of their problems, um, how do we how, how does one introduce a digital system of disaster management like the ones that we're talking about in a community that may not have uh, the level of reliance or interest in uh, technology that uh, some other places do? I, I really don't have a proven answer to say, but I imagine that the best way to get community involvement with disaster response would be to provide a technological tool that is both easy to use and comprehensive. And today with, with the mapping technology and the internet technology that we have, uh, the browsers and the ability to build a myriad of different interfaces, I think we definitely have the tools in hand to build a in, in simple interface to these highly complex systems such as disaster response systems. Sure, yeah, it's something that we think about all the time. Um, I think the, the most important thing is, is um, just making sure that you're using appropriate technology, whatever that is, whether it is um, you know, still feature phones or if, if communities do have access to, to smartphones, um, then making sure you make uh, the most of that. But the, what we try to rely on all the time is, is thinking through those principles of human-centric design um, and thinking about who really is going to be the end user in any situation and, and making sure, as I said, that we're testing um, the use cases in the field um, and then making changes on whether it's technology or um, processes um, based on who that user is. There are some places where there genuinely is no technology. Uh, also, I mean, since Nigeria, also in Nigeria, we worked in a situation where they were, we, were in, we had no no technology at all available to them. And quite often, you find that people have paper systems, and you have to adapt and build that paper into your your system. So, for instance, getting people to put markers on a map, getting people to to write in a roster, getting people to Put pictures if you have to. If there's a literacy problem. Um, also, sometimes there's fear of technology. So some places, um, again, I'm thinking some of the instances in places like Sudan, where if you walked in holding a mobile phone or a recorder, you became official. That became a thing to worry about. But if you walked in with a pad of paper and a map, paper map. Uh, it was less frightening. And there were some really lovely paper to technology solutions out there. For instance, um, public laboratory use a blue, completely blue map so that any black markings you make on it, you can scan in. Um, OpenStreetMaps has a map format where the corner, they have a QR code and the corners uh, are within that QR code, the map. So again, you can scan and normalized to, to the existing maps. I, I've probably gone a little bit too far into using paper as a technology solution there, but that you, you use what's available. As Anna said, you use what's available.